Hi, hello. This is your lucky sir. Now I am back with Kartik A classes. Right. Here, distinction between primary, secondary and tertiary amines. Very, very, very special reaction. These are actually. See, first we are taking test. What happens with the primary amine? What happens with secondary amine? And what will be with tertiary amine? Simple. First test is carbalamine reaction. Carbalamine test means amine is taken. Chloroform is added along with alcoholic KOH. With this, if isocyanide is formed, that is primary amine. Exclusive only primary amine. Only primary amine reaction this is. Only primary amine. So here there is no reaction, here there is no reaction. And this is having very bad smell, unpleasant smell. Foul smelling gas. Yes. Okay, bad smell will be there. And that's a test for primary amine. Carbolamine reaction, very, very, very special. Bodhi color smell, you can't stay there. Okay. Next, basic nature. In aqueous solutions, if you see the basic nature, how it is going to be. In this case, you can say more basic than ammonia and tertiary amine. Maximum basic is given for the secondary amines. More basic than ammonia. So it all depends. The maximum is given for secondary. That's true. Then primary can come. Tertiary can come. Primary comes if it is methyl group. Second tertiary will come if it is ethyl or higher groups. Okay. So the order will be very simple. Secondary is best followed by primary tertiary and ammonia for R is equal to methyl groups. If R is equal to ethyl or higher groups are there, propyl like that groups, secondary, tertiary, primary and ammonia. So this is one important point you can say. Next, with HNO2, what happens with HNO2? It's again simple reaction. When you are taking primary amines, they form alcohols. But remember here one important point, rearrangement is possible. Rearrangement is possible. For example, you have NH2 like this. From this, you can get this OH also. Not in first place, we are getting at second place. This is all because of carbocation rearrangement. Carbocation rearrangement is possible, possible, possible. And when it comes to the secondary, R2 NH secondary, they are converted into oily nitrosoamine. R2 NNO, that is N nitrosoamine. N nitrosoamine is with oily nature. When it comes to tertiary, it just dissolves. Okay, dissolves forming one salt. No special about this. Coming to the next one. That is Hinsberg test. Hinsberg reagent is Hinsberg test. Hinsberg reagent is the benzene sulfonyl chloride. Benzene sulfonyl chloride, whatever we are going to use here. This is one very, very special which gives the reaction with uh, primary amines. Primary amines are in H2. From your chlorine, from your hydrogen will be removed and you are getting there. Benzene SO2 NHR. This is N alkyl benzene sulfonamide. Hinsberg reaction, this is possible. Then, N and I alkyl benzene sulfonamide you can expect in case of secondary amines. See here. Secondary amine means R2 NH. This hydrogen, this chlorine is out. You can get their NN dialkyl benzene sulfonamide. This is again insoluble in sodium hydroxide. This is soluble in sodium hydroxide because of this hydrogen. There is a hydrogen because of this hydrogen, it is soluble. Such kind of hydrogens are not there, so it is insoluble in sodium hydroxide. Here it is soluble in alkali, here it is insoluble in sodium hydroxide. Very, very special. And yet there is no reaction, no reaction itself. Hoffman mustard oil reaction. Mustard oil reaction means we are not preparing any mustard oil. 
स्मेल आता है यू विल गेट द स्मेल लाइक मस्टर्ड ऑयल स्मेल वेन प्राइमरी अमाइंस ट्रीटेड विथ कार्बन डाइसल्फाइट्स एन इंटरमीडिएट इज फॉर्म्स विच ट्रीटेड विथ एच डी सी एल टू फॉर्म से ब्लैक प्रेसिपिटेट्स एंड आर एन सी एस आर एन सी एस इज फॉर्म्स आल्कल आइसोथाइसाइनेट आल्कल आइसोथाइसाइनेट इज फॉर्म्स बट वेन आर टेकिंग आर टू एन एच वेर आर टू एन एच इज सेकेंड रियामाइन रिएक्ट विथ कार्बन डाइसल्फाइट जस्ट ऑफकोर्स दिस रिएक्शन इज देर but further with hgcl2 there is no reaction so black ppt which is formed in case of primary amines you don't expect any black ppt here tertiary you don't expect any reaction only there is no reaction with cs2 because this amine is not having any single hydrogen primary amines will give you r n c s okay the smell will be like mustard oil smell so we call this is hoffman mustard oil reaction black ppt is formed hgs and there is no black ppt when you are taking second amines there is no reaction when you are taking tertiary amines oxidation by kmno4 this is again interesting oxidation for example if you are having ch3 ch2 nh2 okay now that means here you have two hydrogens in that case first it is oxidized to ch3 ch double bond nh minus two hydrogens and then hydrolysis you will be getting there all the heads and ketones are also possible you can check this one all the heads and ketones depends on where nh2 group is attached so this is oxidation by kmno4 tetra alkyl hydrazine is formed r2nh will give you r2n nr2 tetra alkyl hydrazine and here there is no effect there is no reaction on oxidation by carose acid you know what is carose acid yes h2so5 h2so5 is carose acid H2SO5 is the carous acid. When this primary amines react with carous acid, extra oxygen, with that extra oxygen, it is going to form such kind of compound, CH3CH2 NH4H, and this can be converted into CH3CH double bond NOH. Dialkyl hydroxylamine is formed when carous acid is used for secondary amines. R2NH is converted to R2NOH. Dialkyl hydroxylamine. And tertiary amines, you will be getting the tertiary amine oxide. Oxidation by carous acid. Carous acid is H2SO5. With that, you can expect all these reactions. So, once we will go with first one. Carbolamine reaction is the most important one given by only primary amine. Offensive order. Basic nature. secondary primary tertiary ammonia for r group r is methyl group if r is ethyl or higher secondary tertiary primary and ammonia with hno2 primary will be giving you alcohols secondary will be giving you oily compound tertiary just dissolves hinsberg reagent benzene sulfonyl chloride which gives you n alkyl benzene sulfonamide with secondary that will be nn dialkyl but the primary one is soluble in alkali second one is insoluble in alkali hoffman mustard oil reaction primary amines with cs2 followed by hgcl2 mercuric chloride gives you black ppt with uh, mustard oil smell secondary first step reaction is there with hgcl2 there is no reaction no precipitations tertiary also similar no reaction oxidation by kmno4 if you see all the acid ketones are formed depending on number of hydrogens it is having double bond carbon if it is having at least one hydrogen that will be converted to aldehyde if both are alkyl groups like this you see alkyl group alkyl group that will be converted to ketone here at least one hydrogen is there so you are getting the aldehyde and the second and tertiary you can see tetra alkyl hydrazine is formed no effect in the last case oxidation by carous acid aldoxime and hydroxamic acids are formed you can check this one thank you